In this video, I'll be taking three separate Sibelius files and joining them into a single file using Sibelius's append score feature and then neatening up what Sibelius produces. This could be useful when writing multi-movement works or to create ensemble exercises and excerpts like I'm doing. I'm compiling a set of excerpts from children's animated films for a quiz with my high school band. Each set has 10 to 14 excerpts but for the purposes of this video I'll use excerpts from Aladdin, The Little Mermaid and Shrek that I've already transcribed into Sibelius. The first important thing to note is that each score must have the same number of instruments to be able to join them together. To make this easier for myself I decided on my instrumentation at the beginning and created a manuscript paper to use as a template for the rest of the scores. You can do this with File Export, Manuscript Paper, give the ensemble a name, untick Keep Title etc and choose a category then click Export. The next time you start a new score you can choose that instrumentation from the category you chose. Percussion poses an interesting challenge. Note that in Aladdin I have vibraphone and in The Little Mermaid I have a glockenspiel part that includes vibraphone as well. This is fine. The appended score can have different instruments so long as they have the same number of instruments. In this case the glockenspiel part will change to a vibraphone part. I have also kept all the instruments in all scores even if they don't play anything so that I can append them properly. If you are combining different combinations of instruments you will need to pad each score to make up the superset of the instruments. I'll start with Aladdin and save it as a new file called Animation Set so that I still have the original in case something goes wrong. Now I can add the other scores with File Append. First The Little Mermaid, then Shrek. As you can see, each score is added onto the end on a new page. However, Sibelius has changed the end of the previous score with key signature and time signature. Sibelius has provided a plugin to clean up appended scores. The link is in the description. This is a very handy plugin, especially if you regularly append scores. If you only want to do this for a single project, I'll show you how to do things manually to avoid the admin of adding a new plugin. Press K for key signature, then select More Options. Choose the correct key signature and hide. Then overlay it onto the existing key signature and it will remove the warning in the previous score. Press T for time signature. Select more options, choose the correct time signature and deselect allow cautionary. Overlay that onto the existing time signature and it removes the cautionary signature in the previous score. Now right click, bar line, final and add it to the end of the previous score. Follow the same procedure for each appended score. This is now the same kind of score that we would have achieved with the Tidy Appended Score plugin. There is still some work to do. I want to change the titles. I'll make a subtitle for the first score which has the name of the first excerpt or movement. Then I'll change the existing title to Animation Set. For each score I'll delete the title and add a new subtitle. Because I want each excerpt numbered, I'll click on the first bar line of each score and press Ctrl R to add a rehearsal mark. Then, on the text tab, click the arrow in the corner of the rehearsal marks to change the rules for rehearsal marks. I'll select Numbers.
if I right click here and open one of the parts, you can see that each appended score starts on a new system automatically. Unfortunately, the text is a mess. I'll just drag things to their correct positions. I really don't want to have to do this for each part. Luckily, Sibelius has thought of this. If I go back to my nice looking part, on the Parts tab, I can select Copy Part Layout, then select all the other parts, and OK. This has made a big improvement to the parts, but I'll still go through each part and make sure that there are no clashes or extra pages. I can now go and hide empty staves in the score to condense it a bit. You can select individual staves and then on the layout tab select hide empty staves. In the extreme you could even select all with Control A and hide empty staves. However since I'm more used to seeing the full score with empty bars I'll return it to how it was.